today's workout, we are going with endurance. So it's going to be some fairly simple moves, um, but our intervals are going to be a minute of work. So it's going to be a longer time that we're going to be doing each exercise. So it's where we really get the opportunity to kind of like push ourselves uh, past that point of what we might be comfortable doing and really challenge our body. So we have five moves for the upper body, five for the lower body. Uh, we're going to go through each move twice. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. We'll repeat them again uh, a minute each. So go ahead and pop your bands on. Get your cycles going, your brain ready. And get everything all hooked up and ready to go. Awesome. All right. So let's come on up to stand. Perfect. And a little bit of stretching just to start to wake everything up. Um, I have my cycle on group medium because uh, I'm wanting a little extra challenge. I'd suggest starting there. You can go low, you can go high. A lot of you know your cycles well by now, so kind of just adjust accordingly. And let's just start by kind of rotating side to side, opening up the spine a bit, getting some movement in the upper body. And I'm keeping my elbows underneath my shoulders so that the blood can start to pool here. Cool. And friendly reminder, to please only push yourself so far where you know you're safe and comfortable. I will continue to encourage you to do more uh, and it is your responsibility to know what's realistic and within reason there. So with that being said, one more stretch, open up across the chest, little lifts up with the arms, stretching out the biceps. My favorite upper body stretch. Good. And then let's go ahead and release those arms and we'll get started with our first exercise. Let me get my timer going. So our first one is wrist circles. So we're working the forearm. I bring my arms down by my sides and I circle out the wrist. Good, keeping the arms as still and stable as possible. So we've got one minute, jumping in whenever you're ready. And as I'm doing this, I'm looking down at my forearms, making sure there's minimal movement anywhere except the wrist. So I'm using the muscles in my form to really control and isolate the movement here. Good, working baby muscles all the way up to bigger muscles. We're gonna go wrist, we're gonna do forearms, we have triceps, biceps, and then we'll take it down to the floor. Cool. Keep circling it out. Good, maybe starting to see some veins popping up. Things are moving. Check our time, last 10 seconds. Awesome, we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Next up, we have tricep extensions. Pull the elbows in. I like to take a little bend in my knees. The lower we can go, the more range of motion we can get with the arms. Um, the main thing here is not to hunch around out the back. So pull those elbows in. Pace is up to you. We're gonna start now extending back and down, back and down. And so if you wanna build a little bit bulkier form of muscle, you can take these really slow and make a smaller range of motion. If you're wanting for a little longer, leaner experience, you can make them fast. So go ahead and pick whatever you're wanting to achieve for your body. And seeing a little bit of this, making sure we're keeping the spine straight. Good, really pressing back, back. Yeah, emphasizing that lift of the pinky fingers at the top. Good. And I've got about a medium pace going. You can by any means take these even slower or you can go super fast. Good, let's check our time. Awesome, last 20 seconds. Good. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, that's our second move. Next up, we have bicep curls. So pulling those elbows in, lifting up and down. Same option applies here. You can go really slow and work into a tiny range of motion, keeping the muscle contracted the whole time. Or you can go super fast, depending on your experience. I'm gonna take these at a little bit quicker pace. That's just what my body wants today. Yeah, but work into whatever range feels good for you. Whew. We're moving. 
We're building strength no matter what we're doing. We're going stronger. Up and up. Awesome. And allowing ourselves to push through those points when we might get tired and keep working, gaining strength, growing stronger, not only building strength in our body, but also in our brain. And knowing when you have the opportunity to keep going, even when we might not want to. Good, let's check our time. Good, last 20 seconds. Up, up, don't stop now. Whatever pace you've been working at, keep going. If you're going slow, try and go even slower, engage those muscles. If you're going fast, don't let your speed drop now. Up, up, awesome, that's it. Last 10, Woo! all the way. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Now we're going to come down onto the floor. Our first exercise is a military plank. So I start in a plank position. You can always do this one on your knees if it's too much in regular plank. I drop down, forearm, forearm, up, up, down down, up, up. We've got a full minute in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, down, up, up. Again, you can pick your own pace. It can be faster. It can be slower. But I want you to try and keep the rest of your body nice and stable so the hips aren't rocking out to the sides. Keep going. Good. Awesome. You guys are doing so great. We are half done. Good. Don't stop now. If you need to pause and plank, better to pause and plank than stop altogether. Mm -hmm. Last 20 seconds. Good. Woo, go and go. Give me 10. We have seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Last exercise of this circuit that we're going to do them all again. You guys look great. We're moving at a fast pace, but we're staying strong. It's a shoulder tap push up. I come up in a plank position. I tap, tap, drop into that push up and rise. Tap, tap. Push up and rise. And let's be honest here, the shoulder taps are just to give us a brief break between all those push ups so we can last for a whole minute. Go ahead and make your way back into plank. You can always do this one on your knees as well. One minute, we are going. Tap, tap, drop into that push up. Now, if you want to work on building bulk muscle a little bit more, shorten your range of motion in your push up and take it really slow down and up. Tap. Tap very slowly down, very slowly back up. Damn, that's awesome. Good. You guys have got it. Great job. Nice. Half done. Nice job. Oh, so slow. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Don't stop now. We've got 15 more seconds. See if you can do two to three more of these variations, no matter what pace you're working at it. Keep going. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, we did it. Now we're gonna do it again. Everyone coming up to stand. Grab a sip of water. Take some movement in the shoulders. Take a little bit of time to rest. And quick moment to check in. See if the cycle that you are on is the best cycle for you. So we might have the opportunity to try a little bit harder, or maybe where you're at was perfect. Maybe you weren't able to even come close to finishing a set, so you want to drop down one. So quick chance to reset, reconsider before we keep going. All right. Let's go ahead and start with those wrist circles. This time we're gonna do palms facing up, moving them around. Same principle applies, my forearms do not move. One minute, we are rolling. Circling the wrist around. And these ones you kind of have to do slow in order 
to really challenge the form. Good. Great. Nice. Check our time. Half done. Yeah, see if you can take even bigger movements, but even more slowly, squeezing the fist the whole time. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got 15 more seconds. Form should be burning. Don't stop now. After this, we're going to come into tricep extension in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake them out. All right, bending into the knees, restarting the cycle. If it stops, tricep extension, one minute. Here we go. Back, in, back, in. Really focusing on pushing the pinky fingers away from the body. Option to take these in slow motion, going down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, or moving super fast. Either way, we're moving with intention. Good. Now, noticing, are you just reaching back or are you finding that extra little press up at the top with the pinky finger, really activating your tricep? That's what we want to see. Back and back. Keep going, gang. Last 20 seconds. Great job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Good. See if you can extend the arms back even more. Good. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Quick tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Left arm across the body. Bicep curls. Here we go. Pull those elbows in. One minute. Going up, lowering down. See if you can resist both going up and going down. So even if you're going fast, you're keeping the muscles engaged the entire time. Nice. Good. Diane looks good. Sydney and Sophia look good. George, got that short range. I love it. Good. And I love that everyone's doing the same exercise, but we're all doing it in a way that really serves the goal that we want. Do we want more muscle? Do we want leaner muscle? So thinking about what we're doing. Good. Last 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Seeing where you might be able to engage the other muscles of the body, maybe growing taller so that you can isolate the biceps even more. Yes, last 10. And then we're coming down from military plank. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. All right, come on down. So for this one, the pace to me doesn't matter whether you go fast or slow. As long as you are moving or doing your best to move the entire time. Go ahead and step back into plank. We've got one minute. We go forearm, forearm, up, up. And you can take this slower and press up onto the hands really slowly if you want more of a challenge, or you can take it fast. But this one, I actually like taking it fast. I think it's a lot harder. Good. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to take the movement slower in the name of building muscle, really focus on not letting the rest of the body move. So you're isolating the muscles of your arms and really using those as well as your core and your glutes to keep you stable. Yes, Jim. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Great. Last 20 seconds. Good. We've got 10 more, then we're going to rest. In five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone walk, walk, walk your hands back towards your knees. And clasp the hands behind the back again. Big stretch. All right. Last exercise for the upper body. Then we're going to get the heart rate up. We'll do the question of the day and switch out our bands. Shoulder tap push-up. 
I'd recommend doing this one in slow motion if you can, unless you're really looking for that cardio benefit. So I tap, tap, very slowly come down, hover, very slowly push back up. And my arms are shaking because I did a whole bunch of push-ups yesterday with my band. One minute, time is going. Tap, tap, slowly down, slowly up. One of my favorite things to do with some of my other clients I work with is put them through a workout with the bands that's really hard and then tell them about you guys who do the workouts with the bands like five days a week and their minds are always blown. So great job. Half done. Another option is lower down to that push up, hover at the bottom for as long as you can and then push back up. So getting that little isometric hold at the bottom as well. Again, one exercise, we can do it like four different ways, depending on what we're looking for. Last 15 seconds, keep going. If you're going in slow motion, see if you can do only one more in this time. If you're going fast, let me see two more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up to stand. Give the shoulders a shrug. Good. And let's go ahead and do our cardio boost before we swap out our bands for our legs. So our moves today, and we're only going to go through this like two times, maybe three, two times, um, is a squat reach. So I go reach, reach. We've got 30 seconds of that. Then we have 30 seconds, high knee, kick, high knee, kick. We haven't done these in a long time, but it's important to kick out to the side as well as engage our core. Last thing, high knee run, okay? So first 30 seconds, squat and reach. We're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Ooh, I like it. Doesn't matter if you touch the floor. What's more important is just getting that arm down, but keeping the spine straight. Last 10. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head. We go high knee, kick, switch, high knee, kick. 30 seconds. Here we go. Kick. Out. Up. Out, woo, good, getting the knee up to that elbow. Awesome. Half done. Woo, get those legs even higher. Last 10, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and 30 seconds. Run it out. Get your knees up. Run, run, run. Woo. Imagine this is your sprint. Last sprint of the upper body. Get your legs going. Get your arms going. Bring it home for me. Yes. Good. Half done. Last 10. All out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and whew, we did it. The question of the day is, mm, <laughs> what is your favorite way to celebrate your birthday? <laughs> and it might sound simple, but I think people have different answers. I know I certainly do. So go ahead and swap out your armbands for your leg bands. Grab a sip of water. Toss your answers into the chat or unmute. Steve says, watch my children play water polo games. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Your kids must be pretty good at water polo. <laughs> I know your kids are good at water polo, actually. What else? Favorite way to celebrate your birthday. Mine is actually run away and hide because I don't like the attention. <laughs> I'd rather just celebrate someone else's birthday than mine. <laughs> but that's just me. I'm weird. Or travel. I like traveling on my birthday. Peter says, eat cake. Well, that's 
simple. That's an easy one. <laughs> I almost feel like that's cheating, but I'll take it. Sydney and Sophia say beach day with friends. Jim says kayak dinner out. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> George says rock climbing. George, I feel like that's your answer to almost anything. Like, what's your favorite outdoor activity? What's your favorite like sports activity? What's your favorite thing to do with your family? <laughs> Diane says, go on a trip. Yeah. See, everyone has different answers for what they like to do. Birthdays are interesting. Quarantine birthdays are interesting too. All right, last up, John says, surf, kiteboard, ski. We like doing active things on our birthdays as we like doing most of the time anyways. All right, leg bands are on. Finding the outer tubing of our bands and lifting the edges up a bit, creating almost like a harness-like effect as if we were doing George's, one of George's favorite activities, rock climbing. Bands are on. Cycles are going. We're going to get our heart rate up again. We're going to go through our circuit once. We'll get our heart rate up. We'll go through it twice. And then we'll come down for some core and stretching. So getting the heart rate up again, same move, this time with the leg, band, leg bands on. First 30 seconds, squat and reach. Here we go. Good. Back face flat, hips go back. Great. Yeah, feel those bands starting to work. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, knee to elbow, kick. Up, kick, 30 seconds. Woo. And I promise this is really good for hip mobility and strength. So we don't just do this to look ridiculous. There's actually a purpose to it. Awesome. Last 10. Then we're gonna run it out, give it all we've got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Run it out. Get those knees up. Whew. Yes, there we go. Last 30 seconds of our cardio boost. Then we get to slow it down and do a whole minute of work. Half done. In five, I want all out sprint. Four, three, two, one. Last 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, all right. So our first minute of work. We're targeting, we're slowing everything down. And we're targeting a single leg heel lift. So we're gonna root the weight into the right foot. You're either gonna step your left heel forward or you're gonna lift your left heel off the ground. Single leg heel lift, up and down. Up and down. We've got 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Then we're going to keep going, okay? So doing your best to get your left leg off the ground. 30 seconds. Here we go. Up, down. And I actually don't care if you hang on to something for these ones, for balance. Because we really want to focus on burning out the calf, finding the endurance to go a full 30 seconds. Now, even better, don't let your right heel touch the ground. Up, down, up down. You want to make it even harder? Shorten your range of motion. So you're lifting less and lowering less. Up half an inch, down half an inch. Now we're really working. Last 10. Uh-huh. Five, four, three, two. Let's switch sides. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Get your left, your, sorry, your right foot off the floor. Left heel stays off the floor the whole time, up and down. Mm-hmm. Good. Great. Good. See if you can shorten the range of motion. So contracting that calf muscle so much that it's able to make a smaller movement. Last 10. 
<laughs> we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good work. Next up, we are doing plank bear jump. So we're coming back down. We're in plank. We jump bear, plank, bear, plank. Now try and do this without letting your hips bob up too much. So try and keep them low. Bear, plank, bear, plank. The quads are going to burn like heck. If the jumping isn't working for you, you can shift back and forward. Otherwise, jump it out, okay? I think this is the hardest thing that we are going to do all day. So you can take it slow, but try not to stop. One minute, make your way into plank in three, two, one. Go for it. Good. So you can either rock back into bear, plank, bear, plank, or you can jump. Good. Oh, goodness, it's hard. <laughs> nice. Oh, my goodness, I see people. Everyone's doing something good. I like it. Half done. Good. Getting our endurance, pushing through, not only in body, but also in our brain, telling ourselves we can do it, and then doing it because I know we can. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Don't stop now. Even if the move is slower, don't give up. We've got 10, then we're coming at the stand. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on up. Good job. All right. Next up, squat and twist. Hands behind the head. We squat up. Squat up. Now I'm not dropping down, I'm bringing my knee up to opposite elbow, squat, up, squat, twist, okay? One whole minute, yes, we just did the quad with those plank bear jumps, and we're gonna keep going, that's part of our endurance today, okay? Hands behind the head, one minute, let's go. Squat, knee up, squat, knee up. If you want to make it harder, shorten your range. Squat, keep the knees bent, knee up. Baby squat, keep the knees bent, knee up. Good. Yes. Strong Monday practice. Keep those elbows really wide. Half done. Woo. Keep going. After this, we have two more exercises. Last 15 seconds. Get even lower into those squats. Work the quads. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks to release it. All right, next up, we have reverse lunges. Very simple exercise, but we're gonna go for a whole minute. So you can go slow or you can go fast. I step one leg back and up, back and up. If you are just needing that extra challenge today, I wanna see reverse lunge hovers. Back, up, other side, back and up okay so your choice choose wisely we've got a whole minute three two one either reverse lunges or reverse knee hovers that's it it's kind of a choose your own adventure today <laughs> good nice whichever variation you're taking the most important thing i want to see here though is that that back knee gets really close to the ground Mm-hmm. Great. Half done. If you're taking your hovers, try and go even more slowly and get lower into it. So contracting the muscles to get down. Oh, Jeff, great. Good, Jim. Awesome. 
last 15 seconds and we have one more exercise. Mm -hmm. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. All right, this last one is going to be our pistol squat. So I don't care if you hang on to something for this one. I would rather you try not to, but it's fine if you need a little extra help. I come back onto my right foot, I balance. I drop as low into it as I can, and I rise all the way back up. Now, because we're going for endurance, I want you just to try the whole time. Don't give up. Each time, get a little bit lower into that pistol squat, okay? And even if it's just this and up, I'm happy, do your best. First 30 seconds, working the right leg, go. And you can do whatever you want with your arms. If you need airplane arms to stay stable, great. We do these things to challenge ourselves. If we were able to do every one of the exercises, we wouldn't necessarily be going stronger in all areas of our workout. There's always, ideally always gonna be something in there that's like a little out of range. <laughs> Good, last 10, then we're gonna work right to the other side. See if we can do one more. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, and switch legs, other side. Diane, those were great. <laughs> All right, time is going, 30 seconds. Nice, Sydney and Sophia, good, good. So great, good. We are half done. Get the butt down to the floor. We can do it. Squeeze those muscles. Use your core to help you. Last 10. Single leg squat, also known as pistol squat. One more. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Because we did a lot of quads today, let's do some butt kicks. Release them. We are going to get our heart rate up for the last time, and then we're gonna go through it again. Okay, so first 30 seconds, squat reach. After this cardio, we'll take a sip of water because we're allowing our heart rate to slow down for the rest of most of this work. Here we go, three, two, and one, squat reach. Pick it up, there we go. Half done. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head. Here we go. We go up, kick, up, kick. So on Friday, we've really been challenging our flexibility and mobility. So ideally, this should be getting a little bit easier than it was. And if it's not, well, it's just as important that we keep doing it. Good, up, kick. Awesome, half done. Woo, last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Run it out, get those knees up. If you're not sweating yet, I want to see even more. Go, go, go. Half done. All right, in five, we all out sprint. Three, two, one. Last 10 seconds. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and uh, water break. All right, we're starting up again with our single leg heel lift. Cycles are going, water's been had, we are ready. This time, 
knee into the chest, up, hover, up, hover, okay? Do your best not to let your heel touch. First 30 seconds, here we go. It's okay to hold on to something. It's the same way in a gym when we use weight machines, we can add weights and we isolate that muscle. By holding on to something else, we're able to isolate the muscles of the calf. So other muscles are still working, but we're really able to hone in on that one particular spot. Great. George, I love the balance. <laughs> Good. Last five, four, three, two, and let's switch. Get the right leg up, up, hover, up, hover. Ooh. Good, keep going. Half done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last six, five, four, three, two, and done. Good job. Quick calf stretch. Step your right foot back, glue your heel down to the floor, bend into your left knee. So calves are one of those muscles that I don't think enough people stretch frequently enough. That's just my observation. Myself included. Switch sides. Left foot back, bend into the right knee. And let's make our way down into plank for our plank to bear jump. So coming down, we've got one minute. You're going up, back, up, back. Bear plank, bear plank. Otherwise, you're shifting. Okay? One minute. We are going. <laughs> and whatever variation you're doing, it is so hard. Your quads are gonna burn. We're going for a full minute. Gonna do your best. I'm proud of you no matter what. Woo, good day hand. Good, keep your core, keep your glutes engaged. Nice dance. Mm-hmm. Charles, Peter, and Mary, I can't see you, but keep doing your best. I know you're with us. Kicking some butt. Last 20 seconds. Yes. After this, we're going to come up for our squat twist. 10 more seconds. You can do it. Don't stop now. Last round of the day. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on up. Good, stretch out those quads. All right, squat twist. Get my, get my cords out of the way there. There we go, much better. Hands behind the head. Squat, knee up. Squat, up. So the twist comes from the lower body, not dropping the elbow down. One minute, let's go. Squat, twist, squat, twist, that's it. And we've been practicing having the hands behind our head and getting the knees up, that's been part of our cardio. We are perfectly primed to do this. Good. Way to make this challenging. Shorten your range of motion in your squat. So keep your knees bent the whole time. Squat, up, squat, up. So you're always staying down. Down an inch, up an inch, lift. Otherwise, go through the full range. Just depends what your body needs on this fine Monday. Good, last 15 seconds. Get those knees up even higher. Use your core. Mm hmm Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Couple more butt kicks, release it all. All right. 
Now we have our reverse lunges, or if you're needing double balance today, your reverse lunge hovers. Now we're gonna explore this exercise again later on in the week when we do a balance day, but if you wanna try it out now, that is totally cool. So either reverse lunges or reverse lunge hovers. One minute, here we go. And on those hovers, see if you can get your back knee all the way onto the floor without rounding out your spine. You gotta keep it straight. Oh, Diana's flying, so great. Good, and if you're doing reverse lunges, the regular variation, I wanna see you pick up the pace. Yeah. <laughs> Half done. Good. Nice, George. Good, everyone, nice straight spine. Last 15 seconds, push through this last bit of work. Then we have one more thing to do and we are moving on to core. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're moving the opposite direction with our pistol squat. Before we were going back behind us, this time we're going forward. So, rooting all of your weight into your right leg. Get your left foot up and off the floor. First 30 seconds. Right side, we go down, we go up. And the quad of the left leg is gonna burn like heck because it has to work to keep the leg straight. Good, kick the left leg forward. Yeah, now we're talking. Mm -hmm. This is also one of those ones that you can work into a range of motion. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. But I'd like to try and see you get your butt all the way to the floor. Last 10 seconds. Woo, good to see you, Cindy. Last four, three, two, and switch. Other side, final set, final exercise. Let me see what you've got. Good. Great, Jim. You guys are doing such good work. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. See if you can do one more. Best variation of the day. Six, five, four, Three, two, and rest. Good. Let's release it all. Take a quick hamstring stretch, forward fold, pedal out the legs. And roll on up to stand. Let's make our way down to sit and I will demonstrate our core moves for the day. We are only doing two moves for our core, but we are doing a full minute of each one. So talk about endurance. I need you to push through as best you can, okay? The first one are an X crunch. My body is in a big X shape. I roll up, I come back down. I roll up, I come back down. We're doing a minute of that. Then we're doing one minute double crunch. In, down, in, down. Getting your elbows towards your heels. In and out, okay? One minute, X crunch, three, two, one. Here we go. Everybody up, everybody down. This is one of those ones that you can take it as slowly as you need, as long as you're moving the entire time. And yes, this first exercise is harder than the second because I want us to be able to get really tired, but still push through the second exercise. Oh, damn, that is so great. We are half done. Get as high off your spine as you possibly can. I did about 50 of these yesterday, so I feel your pain. Woo, looks good. Last 20 seconds, don't stop now. Awesome, fine to take them slow, get off your back. 
Mm -hmm. In 10, we're gonna pull the knees into the chest for a quick rest. And then we're gonna do our second set. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knees into the chest. By the way, we're doing a core stuff, two rounds, just like everything else we did today. Surprise. All right, next up we have double crunch, hands behind the head. Pull elbows towards heels, release. Crunch in and down. One minute, we're going. Getting off the upper back. Pulling your heels and your elbows together. So working every muscle of the core to get small. Good. Yes. Ooh, I like it. Half done. Good. We're curling into a little ball. <laughs> Last 20 seconds. Keep going. The core is so important. Maybe one day we'll just do an hour of core. That would be my dream. Probably not going to happen. Last 10. Give me two more. Four, three, two, and knees into the chest, rest. We've got one more round. Then we're gonna take a spinal twist, a hamstring stretch, and a farewell. Can we do it? Heck yeah. Arms out, legs out, X shape of the body. Pull everything up, X plank, X plank, X crunch, and release. Time is going. We go up and down. And if you can't get your hands even close to your feet, that's what we continue to work into. Woo! Awesome, Dan. Nice, seeing if we can get a little bit higher off the upper body, so getting those shoulders off the floor. Nice, Diane. No, it's not comfortable. No, it may or may not be fun. But it's so important and we're doing it. Last 15 seconds. And then someday you just do it and it magically happens. And you're like, hey, I got stronger. This is great. 10 seconds, give me two more. Mm-hmm. Take the last one slowly. Make it great. Four, three, two, and knees into the chest. Last bit of core work. Rock side to side. Hands behind the head, double crunch. Make that cave at the elbows, elbows to heel, release. Pull everything in, release. Good, time's going. Great. Nice start. And Peter, you're gonna have to answer because your favorite birthday activity is to eat cake, you, you must tell us what your favorite kind of cake is once we're done. <laughs> Last 30. Good, squeeze every single muscle of your core. We've got lower abs, mid abs, upper abs, obliques. 20 more seconds. Mm -hmm. Get those elbows all the way down to your heels. Good. Last 10, give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody pull your knees into the chest. Drop them over to the left, spinal twist. Big breath. Pull the knees back through center, drop them over to the right spinal twist. Good, pull the knees back through center, start to rock and roll up and down along the spine. Take a nice big hamstring stretch. And then letting the forehead drop down towards the thighs. Back of the neck is nice and long. Shake the head, yes. Nice long minute intervals today, good job. 
and then roll on up to sit, reach the arms up, bring the hands together, big round of applause at the top. Good job, gang. This week, we're going to work on a number of things. We're gonna do strength, we're gonna do balance. Of course, on Friday, we're gonna do mobility and flexibility. So stay tuned, and we'll always have a little bit of cardio in there as well. Good job. Thank you. Go Gator. Thank you.